Um, all right, all right. Night in the woods, dear. Wait. So we're on the la day four of part three, right? It's called the longest fall, I think, this section. I was gonna say we definitely must have ended it at the end of a day because that's what I've done every other time so far. Um, it is a bit like that. I don't think you need to have all the answers to finish the game either, but you want 100% right. It's definitely on my list. I'm so curious. Um, I'm so behind with games. I always miss everyone else playing them because I want to play them myself. But one day I'll get caught up. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's wake May up from her lovely slumber. I love this music, can I just say. I've actually just spent the last hour or something editing all the previous VODs into um, YouTube videos so I got to see kind of what I've done and figure out where I was. That's why I'm like thinking we're closer to the end than I actually thought we were. I mean it's still probably a way off but um all right. Let's check our laptop. And here I was prepared to watch the stream in a tiny <laughs> rectangle in the lower right. <laughs> that is, yeah, something that can very easily happen. Sloth, hello, how are you doing? You, <laughs> you refuse to watch games that are more than 10 pixels. <laughs> Bye, Crafty, how dare I? All right, so this is B. Hello, May. Pickaxe at it me. Oh, okay, she's at the pickaxe. <laughs> you know the drill. Cool, oh cool, swing by. Swing by to get it. Pickaxe. Hey, I'm in a funny mood today. You know what I was gonna ask you earlier, Crafty? I was gonna say, you know, Aubertin. Are you Aubertin? <laughs> I don't know why I'm in such a silly mood. <laughs> um Noob's internet was just preparing us for this last year. The internet's been all right, actually, hasn't it, lately? And my contract's run out, so I'm free to go. But I'm like, oh, I don't know what I want to do because it's such a chew on getting a new thing installed. Um, You're good, thanks. Enjoying your day off. Excellent. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm excited to... Um, I feel like we're near the end of this now, so I'm like feeling really pumped to see what happens. Um... <laughs> Over and done, I am dying. <laughs> oh, but it sounded so terrible in my head, I didn't say it. Um, my internet's with talk talk, sloth. Hold on, we've got a thing. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking of switching to Virgin because, <laughs> um, I've had a lot of trouble with talk talk. <laughs> it's interrupted my streams a few times. Um, Oprah Tower <laughs> Um, It's been a little bit. You can see how it goes, I suppose. Yeah, I will. I think I'll still change, but I need to just... Whatever the phrase is. Get my head out of my ass. Is that what, is that what I'm trying to say? And just get it done. Um... If it gets bad again, you can call and say fix it or I leave and maybe they'll actually do something. That's actually, yeah, I have the leverage now, right? Because I can leave whenever I want now. Although I feel like I'm paying more than I should be because I'm not in a contract, so I don't know. You have Virgin and it's amazing. Oh, well that tempts me even more because um, they've just installed it like a couple of years ago in my hometown. So it's like, it's new enough that it should be good, but it's old enough that they should have figured out the problems by now. Um, <laughs> I know, how many <laughs> discount invite codes have I been offered for Virgin now? <laughs> so many crafty. <laughs> um, okay. I think in certain matters, no matter who you get with, you all have troubles, but there's some companies that do better than others. Um, yeah, I think that it's worth a chance for Virgin. Like, if I did an 18-month contract or something again, then at least I don't have to worry for another 18 months. But uh, it's more expensive, that's the only thing. But it's worth it if it's reliable. 
Um, Alright, sorry. I got a bit distracted there. Fucking talk talk. Getting in the way of me games. <laughs> hey kid, so this is... Um, how have I forgotten his name? Greg. Hey kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. <laughs> Do these guys ever have a day off? Like... We've been playing for quite a while now and I'm sure they've all been working every day. Angus is... Do you know what I'm starting to think? Maybe Angus isn't actually away. Maybe we're just blocked. <laughs> Maybe he's on a pier away to us. Um, going to see the Blank Tones next week. Hmm, I'm guessing that's a band. Hi. Oh, I need to turn my volume up a little bit. Ooh. Hi. Hi. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Blacko, hello, how's it going? You sound sleepy. <laughs> Drop your shout if you do consider Virgin the other speed guarantee and you might know someone who works there. Ooh, okay, thank you. Okay, I'll send you a message. Um, speed guarantee with Virgin at least you would be able to walk out of any high cost contract if it wasn't delivering. Yeah, exactly. Like, Talk Talk were very shady about that. They were like, they wouldn't admit that I wasn't getting what I was supposed to be getting. But I think they give you an average, not a minimum. So it's a bit of bullshit. Um, you're okay, but you did sleep this afternoon. It sounds like maybe you needed it, Blacko. You still Valheimen a lot. How's that going? Is it still, like, amazing? Alright, we've got a whole town to explore again. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back. Also, is the audio okay? Because I don't know if things feel quiet, but again, it could just be me. Might move my mic a little bit this way. Um... And saw this again. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Did she say it feels like a year? Cause like, it's been weeks now <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's how slow I am at these games. Hey bird. Things are like, really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. <laughs> Pray for me. Chilled a bit today, working on a new house. That's so cool, man. I, I feel like... Valheim is a game I would totally get into, but I just don't have time. But I I don't remember if you were here when I was saying it. Oh no, I think it was only in Discord. Like, it's so cool the fact that it's like it's like you've got your own little country that you're like living in together and it's amazing and you all come from all different places of the world, but you all live in this little country. It's so cool. Um you have to get a clear idea on what numbers they are telling you. There were some law changes recently. They all had to lower the number based on what more people get rather than say a high number based on what a few people get. Oh, interesting, Crafty. I mean, and a lot of them can't seem to wrap their head around the fact that the speed that I'm interested in is the upload speed, not the download speed. Like the upload speed is what is important for me. But, um, I don't know. Uh. How are the new walls going? Oh god, I'll have to have a look. It's Minecraft, basically. Yeah. Yeah, see, I didn't even realise it. Yeah, it is actually. Kind of like survival creation game. That's cool. Um. Yeah, Virgin say your average should be this, but the minimum you are guaranteed to get is this. Yeah, that's what I like, the guarantee. Like, Talk Talk doesn't do that. They're, like, tricky with it. Um... I don't know what upload speed is good, like, good enough for streaming. Like, right now it seems to be, it's supposed to be average 10, whatever the unit is. Um, but then sometimes it goes down and the stream struggles. But anything like above 10, whatever, Mbps, mega, megabytes per second? Is that, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um... 
The sole provider for the place where you used to live would tell you for your house specifically, which is nice. Like, surely they should have that data, right? Like, they should know what they've got and stuff. Alright, let's talk to mum. Good morning. Oh, it's too early to yell good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? May's not feeling the morning either. Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems in the house and I'm just so sorry you, we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw up I just want to fall into a pit and die right now May, it's okay really we'll figure something out this isn't on you to fix I'm sorry if we made it seem that way what's done is done and we're a family together regardless please stop worrying about it Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. No. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. What is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Oh, poor me. Um, I'm an adult. I can make decisions like set fire to a hand dryer. I know, right? I think um, I think that uh, our mum is onto something here. I think she's trying to look out for us, and she is doing the right thing. <laughs> um. Six. Okay, crafty, yeah. If you're genuinely getting ten, you should have no problem streaming ever. Well, sometimes it dips down. And sometimes it's not the speed. It's, yeah, it, I don't know. It's weird. Um, And also, yeah, like, that's just for the stream. But then also, like, if I'm playing an online game, that's going to take some and stuff like that. Um... I guess it probably depends on how many devices are connected. Yeah, and also using the internet, what it's being used for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like, it's only me here, so it's not getting used for a lot. But say if I'm playing something online, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's more... It's the wires outside, I'm pretty certain. It's something to do with the connection somewhere along that's just bullshit and they blame it on me. Um... It would depend on if other people were also trying to do stuff at the same time. I don't think Ross uses the internet much. Well, I mean, <laughs> you say that. She is more of a pro streamer than I am. Your mum struggles so much to not fall for just getting higher and higher speeds. You set her up and told her you could watch Netflix on every device in the house at once. And also have a friend over doing the same. With a phone and laptop, then she went and doubled it and spent more. Oh, God. For me, yeah, it's just like, I want to be able to... And, like, for example, it would... I'm not opposed to higher speeds because it would make uploading stuff quicker and stuff like that. Like, I do a lot of uploading stuff, obviously. Um, I know the slight, tw <laughs> the slight wiggle in the ear is so cute. I love it. it someone pointed it out last time. No, it's like, it's adorable. Um, streaming is almost the only thing you need to consider. Mm. Uh, yeah, like uploading to YouTube takes quite a long time sometimes. I mean, it's not a bother because I just leave it on overnight. But I don't know, it's always useful. If you're trying to upload and stream, then yeah, that would struggle. Yeah, I've never done that before. 
<laughs> it would be cool if I could, but uh, no, I wouldn't dare. I keep a really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can like give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, short. Half would be fine. It's fine, mom. <laughs> okay, let me know if I can be any help. Thanks, mom. Okay, all right. Um. <laughs> giving us a half dose because we're so short. <laughs> She's not super wrong. Medicine is <laughs> not designed for small people. Richie, hello. How are you today? All right, let's go along to the bridge. Let's just go everywhere. See if I remember everywhere. Let's go and see all the musical playing people too. I feel like when I haven't streamed for a little bit, I like forget to play the game and just talk to everyone instead. <laughs> oh, things are good. I'm glad, Richie. Oh, so I... <gasps> Is this rabies? Richie! Thank you for the five months. Thank you so much. Five months. <laughs> My eyes were really confused because the chat was telling me Richie Mundo subscribed for five months and then Crafty's yelling rabies. <laughs> and I was like, huh? <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Richie. Um. All right, yeah, I think that's rabies, the possum. <laughs> Richie coming in here and spreading his rabies. <laughs> it's good to share, that's true. <laughs> All right, whoa. Hey, rabies. Who's a good little trash king? It's you. So tell me, rabies. What do you make of this ghost stuff? It sure is something, eh? Oh, he's so cute. Well, yes, good point. I guess I don't entirely know what to think. I like feel it though. Wish everyone just believed me. Rabies believes us. Thank you, Rabies. Your support means a lot. You're a good ass possum, Rabies. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Stay safe, eat some trash and common pests. But not our rats. <laughs> oh, Trash King rabies. So yeah, I've ordered um, a graphics tablet because I'm going to learn. Well, I don't know if I'm going to learn how to draw, but I feel like this game's kind of inspired me for a lot of things. And uh, like, for example, like I obviously I love the journal, like I mentioned, like I love how it's just I don't know i love it and then but also just like this look at this it's freaking beautiful and uh, like i mentioned it before i feel like i can totally see how they've done this um and i don't know it's just very inspiring so yeah i've ordered my graphics tablet um so i'm really excited to try and play around with some stuff like that um <laughs> Richie says, I don't really have rabies while wiping froth from his mouth. I believe you, Richie. You just ate, like, something, right? <laughs> I don't think they eat rats, right? Yeah, I would assume insects. Don't they? So this is America, right? But aren't possums, like, Australian? <coughs> Um, you literally um, had a thought the other day and thought it would work so much better if you had a graphics tablet. No way. Yeah, I um, I just had a fancy and then I googled and they're not as expensive as I thought. So I was like, yeah, let's just get one and try it out. Um, you've ordered a trash king. You've ordered a rabies. 
Um, hot tip. When you first get it, it will likely map to all of your screens. You'll probably want to go right in and set your main drawing screen. Okay, otherwise the coordination is all messed up. Perfect, thank you, Crafty. I don't know when I'm getting it. It's just at Argos, so we can pick it up from tomorrow onwards. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited. <laughs> you having it of the upside down version, Bossoms. <laughs> yeah, can someone tell me, like, what's the deal? I thought the possum, like, are they the same? They've, are they different? What's the deal with American possums? Um, you decided to eat some Alka Seltzer and drink fizzy pop. <laughs> that caused the froth, honest. What's Alka Seltzer and drink fizzy pop? Is that like Mentos? <laughs> um, both have them different, you think? Okay. Um, Alpha! Six months? What the hell? <laughs> Are we at six months? Hey, Alpha, how is it going? Six months, where's the time gone? That's half a year. I've been streaming for half a year. Same idea as Mentos, cool. Um, how's it been six months? Thank you so much, Alpha. Really, really appreciate your support. Um, the game you're thinking of is called Pass Part Out. You play an artist, you create paintings and learn what different customers like. It's great for practicing quick and simple drawing. You can save a drawing if you really like it, but they all just sell off to some little digital person. Oh my God, that sounds really cool. Um, um, I'm taking a picture of that so I can <laughs> look it up afterwards. That sounds really good. I could totally stream that and draw drawings and <laughs> people can laugh at my shit artwork. Um, but also give me tips to improve. <laughs> um, it's going pretty good, can't complain. Nice. Oh, I'm glad Alpha. Yeah, it's going good here, thank you. You did stream it, your drawings were variable. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you looked it up, it's a possum versus possum. Which one's which? And because so let well, was Ruby still there? Let's go and check. Oh, so I'm guessing that American is possum and Australian is a possum, right? Um, Australian version is cuter. Oh, he's not still there because I actually saw one when I was in Australia. It was quite a cool moment, actually. I was like having a little walk through the woods uh, or the forest or whatever it was. I guess, no, I don't think it was a rain. I don't know what kind of forest it was. But I was just walking along and I spotted this little possum curled up in a tree. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And I was just stood watching it for a while. And then this Australian man, like, old man, stopped and asked what I was looking at. And I was like, oh, there's a thing up there. And he's like, oh, you've got a good eye for noticing that. And I was like, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was really buzzing that I'd seen this. And it was just chilling in the tree and it had a big long tail. Um, I'll have to try and find a picture. All right. <laughs> Oops. So, opossums are nocturnal, you think? So have red eyes. Ooh, that's cool. Actually, oh, you just reminded me of another thing in Australia. At one of the hostels that I was staying at, there was like a resident. A resident. Do you say a pot? Do you pronounce the O? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, but there was a resident possum thing that lived in the trees in the garden. And I was laid on the hammock and it came down and it was like sniffing the hammock and it was like right there and I was like this is so cute. <laughs> I'll, I'll find the pictures. Um, <laughs> You had a walk through the wilderness in Australia and didn't die. RIP. <laughs> I did good. I did good. Um, I didn't even die once. <laughs> oh god. What do you want? May. There's no need to be mean. Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? 
Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man in medium build and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. <laughs> so, so let's tell her that the arm has come from an unidentified dead man. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghosts involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, mate. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, mate. Alright, thanks, Molly. She's, like, been nothing but nice to us, so I think May like should drop her attitude a little bit <coughs> yeah it wasn't just a fake arm from the horror buddy unfortunately the man has nothing left now <laughs> hey Selmas jeez may are you sick nah just tired got a headache I think right we've had this constant headache as well I'm sure that we have that gas in our house that's like even though it doesn't make sense that our parents wouldn't be affected by it. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. I'm a bit nervous where this is going, actually. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbour. Can do. Wanna hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars. Like lights on cars. Drive across the dark. I never park. <laughs> it's true. They are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark. But stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. <clears throat> so longest night is something what happens after Halloween in this. Is it like... Is it when the clocks change? Um, oh, we haven't finished. You know, it's anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids. I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't a kid no more. <gasps> it's Casey's arm, isn't it? Maybe someone else, but from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know I asked that but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. It's just the solstice thing. Or oh, is it just the solstice thing? Is it like when... I don't remember. Just before Christmas when the days finish getting shorter and they get longer again. Yeah, that could, that's probably what it is. Yeah. Falcasters thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. I'm so glad we're close to spring soon, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, see you, Salmas. Don't get into any trouble. Getting cold early this year. Don't board well. That does not board well at all. <clears throat> Our buddy isn't on the roof uh, with his thing telescope you went from thick snow last week to 17 degrees this week jeez I know here like I actually went outside without a coat on just with my hoodie on and I was like it's not too bad <laughs> I was like what the hell oh no I'm also very nervous about Bruce I know he said he was going home I'm not sure I believed him Um, nearly summer already. I'm definitely more of a summer. Well, I like autumn. This, this here is my favorite. What we're in in this game. I'm definitely more of a summer person than a winter person. In the win, it's the winter solstice, the shortest day, and you have 
The summer solstice, the longest day. Oh yeah, usually the third week of June. Yeah, so that, and they're calling it longest night. So that makes sense. It's the shortest day, which makes it the longest night. Or are they calling it the longest day? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, you jump to 20 degrees, like Celsius. Holy shit. What are we on right now? Seven degrees and it's dark. So we probably had it decent today as well. Um, summer solstice ended up being when you got married. Oh, that's so cool. Does it change every year? We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. There is a lot of statues of random dudes in Possum Springs. Um, from minus 12 to 8 plus. It's quite a jump, isn't it, Giraffe? Jeez. Uh oh. Yeah, we have to tell we have to tell her what he told us. I just want to make sure there's no evidence that he like jumped off this cliff or something. Cuz I didn't like how he sounded. Um You had minus 12 too. Temperature's going wild. Yeah, it's been a really weird winter. We've never had so much snow. It moves a few days, okay. Your mum will be getting 15 degrees at times this week, so UK is doing well. Nice. I don't know if that's a good thing in February, but also just please give me some warmth. So my forecast says 12 tomorrow. And that's the highest we get in the next 10 days. But I'll take it. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I don't... Oh, actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? I'm, I'm scared in case she's going to turn around and say, May, his daughter's dead. Bruce is going home. He... What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. <gasps> I think I'm right, you know. I don't know, I've got a bad feeling. He left his tent and everything. Oh no, Nubo, what if you're right? Yeah, that was the vibe I was getting when he was talking. <laughs> Stop being smart and right. <laughs> I might be wrong. Everyone keep your fingers crossed that I'm wrong. Because the way the conversation went, he was like, I'm going to go and see my kids. They're waiting for me. It's going to be all happy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what's different now that they're going to be happy waiting for you? I don't know. Mm. Don't like it. I might be wrong. I hope to fucking god I'm wrong. Koala, hi. How are you today? Yes, the arm can't be Bruce's. But you never know there's still time to find more limbs today. I mean, I'm not saying that I want to find more limbs. But you never know. <laughs> no more limbs. You doing okay? It's um what day is it? Monday, that's right. I swear down um, my weekend was a total write off. Like how is it even real? <laughs> uh, but this week's gonna be a good week. See you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh jeez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hon. Like nature. That's such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on. So just ignore me. Okay, hon. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? 
I don't know. Purpose, purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. Ha <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, mom. Oh, I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days. But it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Door back there is unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mum. No problem, sweetie. Oh, this I freaking love this game so much, man. So we're finally in this library room. Look at the light shining down on the couch. If I have a nap, I'm not gonna skip half the day, am I? Feel like I might. Oh my god, I was like, we just faded away. But it's fine, she came back. Oh. Holy shit. Is that... Wait, I was like, is that our dad? Is that our grandpa? I think it's waiting for me and I just don't want to get her up. Yeah, ghost confirmed. Grandpa, tell us about the other ghosts. Yeah, tell us everything. I actually watched the beginning while I was editing the videos today. And it, like the very beginning where it tells you a little explanation. And it was saying like Grandpa sat up in his bed and his like last words before he died was that the house is haunted. So that was quite interesting. Um, and it just, yeah, I don't know, I'm still, I'm still questioning everything. Like, this is just a nice moment, I don't want to get her up. <laughs> okay. I love this game. Oh, it's just kicked us back outside, that's fine. Oh. That was nice. Gonna make me cry. <laughs> right, we're gonna go down under the ground the way we normally do it. Oh yeah, so the other post is gone. Poetry guys here. Will tunnel fish always be there? Will tunnel drain? Can now be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. <laughs> Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay. I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. I'm sorry. No more pretzel stealing. No more secret grandma conversations. <laughs> Noob never not eavesdrop on that guy. Poor guy. I mean, if you just sat there reciting poetry to yourself, I'm gonna listen. <laughs> All right, so there's nothing down here except him today. That's fine. Let's go all the way to the left of the map. Oh no, let's go to the pub. How's Richie's mates doing? Well, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, yeah, moving on to better things. The 
kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. Huh. Well. Yep. Yep. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> Go, Smeltus. Yep. It's like the end of an era. We've never got to go inside of Miller's. I didn't realize I could jump onto there before. <laughs> Things are changing in this town, eh? Oh hey, I forgot oh, I forgot his name. Jim, hey Jim. Hey May. Totally what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem something too. Do I look any different? To me you do. See everyone's commenting on how we look. That makes me think we're actually ill, like inhale and poison gas. Thanks for your attention. No prob. I gotta get home. Where do you live? Across the parking lots, up the hill. Back in the woods. Huh? I've never been back there. I have. Yes, you have. See ya. He lives in the woods? Just on his own? I'm worried about Jem. We should go with him, see what the woods are like. See if we can see any kidnapped children. Or ghost men. Okay. Now to make our way along the regular level and then we can go up on the rooftops as well. There's so many layers to this town. Uh, quick chat with Grey. Hey man. Hey. How are you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I've barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Did we have a dream last night? I feel like we didn't. I'm not sure anymore. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me. Wake me up somehow. I'm not gonna say kill me. He might actually do it. <laughs> hey! Whoa. Wake up! Okay, yeah, I'm awake now. <laughs> so, what are you up to today? So, oh, yes, yeah, so we still got the historical society to do with Grey. Just saying hey for now. We can come back and trigger that later if we want to. Oh, we've still got the other one with Angus, which is the one that I was going to do next. Um, let's go along the, yeah, the main street. Oh, no, 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 we'll go on the roofs first. Forgotten the um, order that I normally do things in. Oh, yeah, our news guy. What's in the news? Birds flying south early this year. What does that mean? It's gonna be a bad winter. <laughs> they know something we don't. Yep, not that. Donald is working in the fast food joint. Who's Donald? <laughs> um. Birds fly in from carbon monoxide. Okay, mate. Well, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's more to it than I realize, yeah. His shadow looks like Donald Duck. Was that Greg? I need to check that out next time. If the gas is coming into your basement, it could be affecting the whole area. Yeah, like, it did literally say a full street. 
So it could be. Like the whole area is just got this gas coming out. Let's see. I've forgotten how we do this. Oh, well, that ain't it. There we go. And not that way. I'm gonna go and see our saxophone pigeon lady. I don't remember where she is. The newspaper was about it coming out from the mines rather than say a bad chimney. Yeah, it was, the whole street was affected by it. Like, it, yeah, literally coming out of the mines. <gasps> Look, oh, I'm so happy. They listen to me. Hey, hey, hello. You guys gonna play together? Yeah, haha. <laughs> Thanks for making this happen, kid. Haha, <laughs> wow. Huh. What? I just realized that, like, I did something helpful. Hell yeah, you did. Like, I came up with a plan and did something good. Is that strange? I feel like I just stumble into things all the time. Introducing you two is like. I meant to help out two strangers, and I did. And now you're gonna play together and fall in love. <laughs> what? No. I'm in a long term monogamous, rela oh, monogamous relationship. I am not in the market. And my son takes up most of my attention. Oh. Did I make it weird? <laughs> you made it weird. Very weird. Damn it. To be fair, May thought exactly the same thing as what I thought. Yeah, do it, May! <laughs> Hello, birds, and then we drew those two, making sweet music. Literal sweet music. Oh, we got more posters. This wasn't here before. Yeah, found them backstage. Can't believe they're still intact. Must be 60, 70 years old now. The original Deep Hollow Hollowers. Try saying that three times fast. We got this. Deep Hollow Hollowers, Deep Hollow Hollowers, Deep Hollow Hollowers. Easy. Did she? Oh my god, she fucked it up. Deep Hollow Holler. <laughs> deep hollow hollowless, deep hollow hollowless, deep hollow hollowless. <laughs> deep hollow hollow it. Holler. I can't. I can't fucking say it anyway. <laughs> Holler. Hollowless. <laughs> D H H. Who are they? Jeez, kid. How long have you lived here? I'm 20. <laughs> yeah, easy. We can say it three times. Can't even say it once. <laughs> um, looks younger. No, you look younger. You'll appreciate that later in life. The deep ho the deep hollow horrors. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> I don't even know what the actual name is. Hol yeah. God damn it. Haha. <laughs> The DHH were the premier dance band in Deep Hollow County. This was their club. Four of them. Violin, sax, tuba, accordion. See, we're seeing the, their ghosts as well in our dreams. Right? That's not a coincidence. Music ghosts, yeah. <laughs> what is this game? Hey, Obia, welcome. This is Night in the Woods. It's like a... Like, I kind of want to say it's a visual novel. It's more like an adventure visual novel, I would say. But it's quite linear. Like, except you can change what you do sometimes. But not, like, to the outcome or anything like that. 
Yeah, we need the tuber and accordion in real life now to complete the collection. Precisely. Yeah, slice of life game. That works too. Um, four of them. Violin, sax, tuba, accordion. Polkas, waltzes, old tunes from the hills. 20s through the 40s. Took this town through some hard times. They were on that famous anthology of Appalachian music from the 60s. Yeah, big piece of local history. Uh, what happened to them? Yes, please, tell me. Oh yeah. Weird story there. Of course it's a weird story. They got spooky. Or kind of religious. Uh, spooky? Yeah, they talked about taking trips out of their bodies. And we're playing for the ghosts that have been through here. Oh, they knew shit. Huh. Folks thought they were just being weird and poetic, but who knows? They're also getting kind of old. That's weird. In the end, they stopped coming here and started playing out in the woods. On these little bandbox things they built. Or at least that's what people figured. In November of 49, they found them dead way out there. Died of exposure. Oh shit. Frost froze them to their instruments. Oh, had to peel them off the ground. One of the great what the f <laughs> one of the great what the fuck moments in Possum Springs history. Holy crap! Now, have you not heard this story? No, it's just I. Nothing. The world is big and weird. After they were gone, this place's days were numbered, and now, for the first time in God knows how long. The Husker B Ballroom shall hear music again. Ha ha ha. And it's a full house. Pigeons appreciate quality. This makes me happy. Save the happiness for when we're good. Yeah, let's get good. This place could use some good. Well, that's one thing about music. It fills empty space. Alright, so yeah, if we come across any tube... Bists, tuba ists, or accordion ists, <laughs> then I will send them your way. Alright, well, that's some interesting history that um, is totally relevant. Ghost super confirmed. I know, right? Are we bringing their spirits back to save the town? I'm not sure. Like, so they were playing music to the ghosts because. Didn't the mining thing happen in the 1800s? So all the miners' ghosts will have been about, right? So they will have been playing music to the miner ghosts. Maybe. And then... Hmm... I don't know, but I, I don't want us to end up having the same fate that they had. We just die in the woods of exposure. Like, that's no fun. I'm not sure where I was actually heading there. Actually, I think I'm done on them bits of roof. Oh, this new thing still hasn't moved in here. Alright, let's go and see Angus. Some tubists, yeah. Some noobists. <laughs> Black will come back to us, I know. Past abilities, man. <laughs> yes, noob dying is not fun. <laughs> um so I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Uh, not yet. I'll come back. Thanks, Angus. <laughs> I'm bad crap. Yeah, but you are still gone from this town forever. Look at your shop now. It's so sad. All right, um... 
I'm sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, Alright, let's go and see B, because uh, we're not doing anything with her tonight, anyway. So for these last two days, you need to do both the trips to the places via ghost trip. Yeah, well, last time there was a gap in between them. We've still got three days left, so one of them could be the last day, I'm not sure. I know, right? I'm dying of exposure right now. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I feel like I'm coughing a bit, but also I feel like this game's just killed my voice. Like every word is a freaking effort, but uh, it's fine. I've had some time off talking and it didn't get better, so... <laughs> um, three days, maybe a gap. That's what I'm guessing, Crafty. Um... <laughs> Let the pie begin. Pineapple pizza for everyone. <laughs> Fuck talk talk. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. Maybe we're being possessed? So yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. I think... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, you are super getting the vibe that May is not okay. That's why I keep coming back to the gas thing. Because, like, she seems, like, more unwell than just being stressed about some ghosts. Like, she seems physically unwell. Alright, we're back to here. So let's just do the... Sorry, pigeon go up here and see if any of our other friends are about. Ooh. So obviously the other guy... <gasps> Look! Rat! Look! One of our rats on the roof! <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't there before. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, bless. We have totally infested the whole town with rats. Don't even regret it. You okay? Yeah. I'm like, only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. Uh, I mean, I don't think he's wrong. Or she, I don't remember. They. Don't mention it. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Meh, you okay? Hmm. Meh. Oh, sorry. Spaced out there for a second. You should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Alright, well. I'll probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Hmm. Rip. <laughs> yep, that's us right now. Sassy, hello. How's it going? <laughs> that was a strangely similar amount of whys. He's wrote exactly the same. That's mad. It's going. I feel ya. Uh, look at all. Oh god, all the rats. <laughs> so many rats. <gasps> we still don't know who's living in here. I am good, thank you, sassy. I'm like, seem to be dying a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> Um, 
Mrs. Miranda should meet whoever lives here. They can talk fridges. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Miranda, yeah. I could like see what's in this dresser. Yes. May, is this what it's come to? You're stealing from a stranger's weird apartment? No, we're not stealing, we're just looking. Don't touch it, just look at it. What are you even doing with yourself? And they probably don't have anything good. So there's no excuse. We're just trying to figure out who they are. <laughs> Control old snoop. Must be weird to sleep in this bed every night, alone in the building. Except for Telezoft and a couple of floors. No, except for Telezoft, a couple of floors down. Maybe they work there. Just come downstairs in their pajamas. Hey everybody, I just woke up and I live at work. Oh god, this sounds horrible. I don't know who it is. What's even in this closet? I feel some shoes. Some shirts, I think. Okay, they've got a golf club or something. Oh weird, they have a sword in here? I could take the sword and rob a bank. Hands up, Susan. I'll jam this sword in your neck. Haha, <laughs> I could wear a mask and a cape. Who is that dashing thief? A sword? To chop arms off with? They threatened to stab the bank- Oh frick, I missed half of the thing. They threatened to stab the bank teller in the neck? Ugh, my life is a wreck. I probably stabbed my own neck on accident. <laughs> yeah. Get it together, May. Sometimes I just think May is me. Keep looking, nobody will see you. Exactly, we just keep... Keep snooping. Um... But seriously, where does this person pee? I mean, it's a good question. How am I rat family doing? Well we can't, yeah we can't do anything more in here. See that, like, uniting those musicians isn't the first good thing we did. We did this. Well the rats aren't bothered about us, I think they're just in the background. Control on me, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm done. There was no adventures today. I mean, May doesn't really seem up for adventures. Should we go with Angus today? I think I want to go with Angus. Save Greg till last. So I said I couldn't, yeah, we've already read this, sorry. Yeah, let's go. So we're going to the park this time. So it shouldn't be that spooky, it's outdoors, right? Wow, B let you have the car two nights in a row? Yeah. Even after the flat tire? Well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And I replaced the tire. Oh yeah. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need ev I <laughs> I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. No, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> oh yeah, donuts. <laughs> Don't eat any more donuts. Sorry, we literally have a donut hangover. 
Welcome to ghosty stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. Cool. The park, here we go. <laughs> donuts or do nots, yeah. <laughs> do not donuts. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mum used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. <laughs> Sounds safe. Is there anything this way? No. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Uh, well, I'm going to say, well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. <laughs> it's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. What kind of old stuff? We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. To be fair, the woods are a scary place at night. It's true. Come on, Angus. Where's your energy? this old stuff puff puff you all right yeah oh i got asthma is all sorry you gotta wait for me oh no that's yeah do you have an inhaler yeah but i saved that for emergencies being slow isn't an emergency what is this thing this is like a lime kiln, I think? Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh, makes sense. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures. Is it? From millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. That's really cool. Whoa. I know, right? You bake it into concrete, you think? Oh, that's really cool. Like, where we're standing right now, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. <laughs> lime flavored stone. I had no idea the limestone was made out of sea creatures. Today I learned. Is this another one the same? Oh, I guess. Are you okay? Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prop. Oh, puff. So if this place was underwater, where the water go? I don't know, to the ocean I guess. And like the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up, where it used to just be flat ground. Weird because things are so boring nowadays, to think that all this crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. I mean, May, you think it's boring now, but things will be different in another million years, and right now will seem interesting to anybody who might be looking into it, you know? It's all about perspective. <laughs> you know all about what rocks are made from. Your brother loved dinosaurs, so you would go to quarries to look for fossils sometime. 
that's really quite cool actually. Mostly just found some plant bits though. That's really cool. Cool cool. Cool cool. <laughs> like I wasn't that interested in... It's kind of like a branch of geography, right? When you were at school. I wasn't really interested in that kind of stuff when I was at school when you could actually learn geography. And then since getting older, like I find all that stuff a lot more interesting. Uh oh, he's wheezing. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime, stone. <laughs> I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. Me is your brother crafty. <laughs> what happened? It was all full up. Oh, that class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Um. They never teach you interest in, like, it's in school. That's a fair point as well, Crafty. <laughs> you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Take it easy, Angus. If you need to take a break, you need to take a break. It's fine. Whoa, it's night time now. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. Um, we passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? What, did we climb over, like, locked gates? Not far now, just up ahead. Okay, now it's time for things to get spooky. Are these gravestones? Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the possum massacre. Oh, that's like, that's the mining thing, right? That's not possums getting massacred. Um, <laughs> crafty Cretaceous period mud. <laughs> yeah. That like labor strike thing, where it was like miners versus National Guard, happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. Oh boy. And some of the miners. Oh, so both. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Don't walk on Angus without me. We gotta stay together, mate. Don't leave me behind. Oh, God. Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever that ridge, whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. <laughs> nice night. Yeah. You do not want to be in nature, in this darkness, without torches. You need really good torches, because it's fucking scary. 
Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No. No, no, no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. That's weird. God, I barely remember now. Huh. Was that when she was really drunk? I'm not sure, because has it been the longest night thing yet? Maybe it was at the party. Okay, that could be what it was, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed of. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay then. Oh, you think that was something else, that party? I don't remember now, it was definitely something. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Oh. Whichever. Are we going to find Big Snake? Remember Mr. Chazakov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives under hill and has a telescope on his roof. In Underhill. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, have I got to actually draw something? Oh wait, no, I've got to drag it. Oh my god. What a freak. This isn't... Alright, hold on. This isn't easy. <laughs> I don't know how I knew it. Is it gonna tell me if I get it right or something? Oh wait, that's attached now. Oh, do I gotta figure this out? I'm just not doing it right. Oh my god, process of elimination. Oh, here we go. Does it just do a triangle? No. Parallelogram? <laughs> Are you supposed to remember them from before? Oh, does it make a sparkly noise? I never noticed, actually. I'll notice the next time. It does make a sparkly noise when it's ripe. Is it doing that when I've just let go, though? I'm not sure. It's a whale. And it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh, wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I think, um... I'd 
they su well, some of them are supposed to have meanings, though. It's not like literally, let's create a whale and like make it carry the earth. They didn't know what the earth was. I don't know what that means. I mean, whales are pretty big. <laughs> we all know Noob is not allowed to draw a parallelogram. Fuck parallelograms, man. <laughs> um, but what's the whale swimming in? Space. I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. Alright, that's one. I guess we just gotta figure out how to connect these all together. So it makes like a noise. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, we have a triangle! Okay, that's a bell. Parallelograms. <laughs> There's nothing funny about a parallelogram. <laughs> I did, Black Hole. Yeah. I hate parallelograms. <laughs> oh, it's Ros. Oh, yeah, Ros is shouting. Uh, we'll give her a few minutes. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Is it like, uh, what's that thing called? The Illuminati. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, I know this one a little from like prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's going to be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound, usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not going to get rung to death by a bell. Fair. That's one way to look at it. The all-seeing eye. I don't really... I don't know what prog rock is. <laughs> Black <-o. laughs> Okay, Rose, one second. Let me just create this constellation, please. I think we got this one. It's a cat. All right, be right back one second. All right, Rose. What are you laughing at? What did I say? <laughs> uh, it's a British thing. 70s Italian prog rock inspired a ton after. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> um, pretty sure other places had some too. What is a prog and why would you rock it? <laughs> I don't know, Kalala. <laughs> Oh god, I need education. Alright, it's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? Um, I feel like we've heard stories about the forest god, but I don't remember them. Um, uh, it was like a whole bunch of stories. There was this person, Adina, and... Oh yeah, Adina in the frozen lake. Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, liked shiny things. Was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, well, yeah. I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. <laughs> well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. Well, he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body. 
and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. Alright. <laughs> um, I think like Genesis, Pink Floyd. I can't even imagine what their music sounds like in my head. Um. <laughs> Substitute what with Brock's? Brock's rock. <laughs> um, it's snooty music and you love it. Oh. Um. Brock Brox. <laughs> what? <laughs> Noob tired of killing NPCs and people. Now she has moved on to gods. Uh oh. Where did you get the... Did we shoot a forest god? I thought... We just stole something and got... Oh, I've, I've already forgotten what I read. <laughs> Is this gonna be all one? Oh yeah. Last one. It's a pope! He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least this dude is. Rubello. There is a statue of him outside the church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family not go to church? No, did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mum works at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all. I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad, used to hit me a lot and my mum was probably worse she like wouldn't feed me which is why I really like cooking now huh? she'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me oh my god Angus I didn't know at all that's awful She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbours. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while I like... Started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing? Like being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go and kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well. My mom is kind of old now. I uh, I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. 
So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he's alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Haha, <laughs> well... I was luckier than a lot of the kids. A lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined the Skeptic Society on the internet and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit and it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or no. I don't know, it saved me a little bit I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or god. So like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. I don't agree with that. Um, do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I uh, believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We gotta draw in lines through the spaces between the stars. Like we're pattern finders and we'll find the and we'll find patterns and we'll like really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to And I I read that wrong. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care and people who do. Holy shit. I like that. Um, yeah, poor Angus, that's awful. Um, it, it's because I know that he was like going to, to some family occasion or something earlier in the week when he wasn't around um, on one of the other streams. And like, I don't know why he has to still go and see her. Like, I don't know, surely. You'd want to cut them out? I don't know. I don't know. Um. Oh, you offer food, koala. Have some great food. You having pizza? Wait, what? And no apples, pine, or otherwise involved. What's apples and pine? Oh, pineapple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, what? I was thinking of trees. Um. This is why Greg better be responsible, yeah. Um. Yeah, I agree that like, when she asked, would that not make you more believe in a god? I don't think it would because you would be like, well, if there was a god, why would they be letting this happen type of thing? Um. All right. Um. <laughs> Boo, boring pizza. <laughs> I liked what you just said though about the universe that doesn't care but the people that do, that is really cool. Ah, there's so many quotes in this game that I need to go through and collect. Um, pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times like you did, God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did, so like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Aww. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. <gasps> There's a fucking ghost behind us. 
People are all about finding patterns. It's how we're still alive. Yeah, it's a very... That's an interesting thing that we do. Okay. Guys, don't be alarmed. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall. Wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Angus is cool beans. Hey there. Oh my god, Angus, don't. Oh my god. Out for a hike? Don't engage. <laughs> Just keep your head down. Oh my god. Um. Nice night. We're gonna die. He's not answering. <laughs> That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! Oh my god, May. May, no! I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. Angus has asthma! We need to get back to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind too. This is one of those emergencies we were talking about. <laughs> Run where? We're on a cliff. Run through the ghost. That's where we gotta go. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Deep breaths. <laughs> in. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> the ghost just didn't even look at us. <laughs> oh my god. Did it follow us? <gasps> it followed us. You know, you know, check it all about me. Yeah? <laughs> Angus is cool beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Angus is cool beans. Angus, no! <laughs> Oops. Um, it properly um, followed us there. Okay, so you know what is really interesting? When you have pigeons in a situation where you randomly dispense food to them, they will start trying to do things that they were doing previously when the food was dropped in. Almost like starting a little pigeon cult trying to summon the food. God. <laughs> well, that makes sense to me because... Like that's an animal thing, right? Like that's kind of how you how you teach them. Um like well, that's how they learn. But I uh, I mean we're gonna start a pigeon court anyway. I ca I really need to play that, that cult game when it comes out. We're gonna start a fruit cult, a pigeon cult, all the cults. Um so I'd say they find people act the same way though. Oh yeah, okay. That's interesting. Um, there's a large tower in the background. It's not a... Uh, I forgot the name of the guy now. <laughs> Richard Harden's tower. <laughs> Humans are too. Cargo calling. That's wild. Please. Oh god, Angus is dying. Please. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna try and do wheeze noises, but I'm gonna like make a fool of myself. Oh, wheeze! It was wheeze. Some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to, where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Why does no... Oh my god. No, we're tripping the fuck out. 
What the heck? Ah! Me? Ah! What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Oh, my head. Jeez. Ugh. Okay, well, let's get you home. No. Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. What was panic attack, you think? Okay. Yeah, that could be. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. Either this is a bad car letting exhaust into the passenger space or you are having a time over something. Yeah, it sounds like panic attack could be a good shout. <laughs> we should solve this with some crimes. That makes everyone feel better, right? Yeah, Greg, you be good to Angus. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? Right, do we say there's a ghost that's in my head? Or do we say I have no idea? I feel like I say I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea, but there's a ghost. And it's after me. I mean, B and Angus have both seen a person. I mean, both times it could have been a person. Like in the graveyard, B said it was a groundskeeper. It could have been. We could have just been seeing them as a ghost. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines? And you saw something that freaked you out? And makes you stress out? I get migraines. And me. You've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Angus. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts. But I believe in you. Oh, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that. But you said it better. Oh, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's book. We're outlaws. Thank you. For believing me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering around up there. Alone. At night. Close enough. Alright. Let's hunt some ghosts. Alright. Let's hunt some ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, listen, Greg, be good. Yeah, Ang well, Angus saw something, but he... And he saw the core, but he didn't see them floating. He didn't say it was a minor. I just wonder, you know, when I was thinking, like, about the whole gas thing, and maybe we could be hallucinating other things into other things, right? So, like, that could have been a person. That could have been the murderer that chopped somebody's arm off but um we seeing it as a ghost because of the whole thing you know what i mean um b did not believe the person was a ghost anger was angus was super convinced though he just thought it was a a person right didn't he 
Uh, please can we take a torch this time? Please. Have it. Oh, also, this is the last night of part three as well, so just as a an FYI for everybody. Um, haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. <laughs> All right. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Sweet. No, this is my kind of adventure. Um. Thought. Angus is psychic, but his heart blocks it. <laughs> I love May's brain. Um, no clues, but Angus saw him too. Yeah. All right. Oh, amazing. Angus's heart definitely blocks his psychicness. Oh, look at them all following me. I feel like I'm leading them into a war. We can't jump. Yeah, this is my kind of adventure. Like, I'm so up for going out on a ghost hunting adventure right now. I'm so up for doing anything right now that means leaving this house. <laughs> um, how have I never been back up here? Fences work? <laughs> nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just all drunk and trees and animals. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing. I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Okay. We're gonna be all right. What could go wrong? A bunch of 20 year olds in the woods at night alone. Well, not alone, together. With a murderer on the loose and a ghost. Or multiple ghosts. Yeah, alone together. Together, alone. Wow. Gotta pull all this stuff some gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. What is it? Is that a minecart? How'd they even get all of this back up in here? I'm sorry, what the last a murderer? Well, we found an arm, right? And it came from a dead person. So, I'm assuming there's a murderer. <laughs> Should I? What's up? Nothing. Just like, all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night. When you go to sleep. So? It's out here, in the dark. So old. <laughs> so old, so old, so old. Oh, dude, hey me. I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. Oh, me. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. I understand getting freaked out by old stuff. <laughs> Blecko just jumped off his house in Valheim and died. Why did you do it, Black Hole? Why? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at the colours. I freaking love this game. I love silhouettes. Angus looks floaty when you can't see his feet. What the? Huh? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what? What the fuck? Is it a cult? <laughs> no, no. Ah, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. 
love. You knew this was going to happen. You knew at the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Love, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Holy freak. Cult detected. Too freaking right. I know, Crafty, that was my thought as well. Is this the goth kids? <laughs> a break dancing cult. I wish, Giraffe. Welcome, Gunner. <laughs> Holy shit. So, this person messed up. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. Why is leaving an arm going to affect the town? What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Oh, his leg stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called on any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. You know, it happens to everyone. You panic. You leave an arm in front of the click clack. It just happens sometimes. Heartwarming when this guy gets burned at the stake. <gasps> Have you figured it out, Crafty? Oh, I haven't yet. I sure wish you'd called me, love. You think any of us wants to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, 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 I got family. Love, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. Dave, Rick, Benny, do we know these people? No. Alright, Dave. You hold him. Are they gonna chop his leg off? I'm sorry, love. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. Are they gonna kill- What the fuck's- No, 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 no. Hold him still. No. Ah. <laughs> Hold still. This will go easier if. Ah. All right, he's free. Love. Ah. Love. And no one can hear you this far out. He's free. What was it? Is this like... Wait, what the fuck? You're just putting yourself to more anguish. And... Ah! <laughs> I... Oh hell, let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, love. Oh god, his bone's sticking out. What the hell is going on? Really selling the ass. <laughs> no, don't. <gasps> the hell? Shit. So I'm just like looking at what they look like. I can't even. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. May? May Borowski? Run! <laughs> What did we- Oh my god, we're being chased by a cult? No, don't fall! Keep going! This isn't what it seems, right? Oh no. Was I supposed- Was I supposed to jump? 
Ha <laughs> <laughs>